In this video, I'm going to show you how to repurpose plain Dollar Tree vases and turn them into cute beach-themed decor pieces. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need, of course, is one of these glass vases. And of course, these come from the Dollar Tree, as with most stuff that I do. One of these tall, round glass vases from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need some extra fine glitter in whatever color you want to use. I'm going to use this pretty blue color. This is a color light blue, and I cannot remember. Oh, Hobby Lobby. Yes, this came from Hobby Lobby, as did this sea glass aqua paint from Krylon. Now, Walmart does carry this. I asked the other day if anybody had seen it at Walmart, and somebody commented and said, yes, they do sell it at Walmart. So you can get this at Walmart. They have an aqua blue color, and then they have a green color. I really, really like the blue. So because the paint is blue, I'm going to get the glitter blue to match. Of course, you're going to need a seashell, and I got this little basket, I believe it came from Mighty Dollar, but Dollar Tree does have little bags of seashells over with the, uh, like the fake flowers and the floral wire, uh, that type of deal. You're going to need some Mod Podge, and I usually make my own Mod Podge, but I don't have any handy because I was going to go make some and I ran out of glue. But if you want to know how to make your own Mod Podge, a link is going to pop up right there to show you how to do that, and I'll also put a link in the description box down below. You're going to need some painter's tape. You can get this at Dollar Tree. You're going to need some, some cord or twine. Dollar Tree does carry this. I believe I got this from Walmart, I believe. No, this might have come from Hobby Lobby as well. But you can get this at the Dollar Tree. You're going to need some rubbing alcohol and some cotton pads. And one of these little sponge doohickeys to paint the Mod Podge on with. Now, the reason you need the alcohol is before... I want to spray this because it's such a large piece and you want it to be as smooth as possible. Take the alcohol, which I've already done, take the alcohol and soak a cotton pad in it and clean the glass really, really well before you paint it. So the first step is to take this vase and paint it with this paint. I think this other one that I did, if you can see this one right here, this one is so old. This one is like two years old. I use it to put some makeup brushes in. I believe this was three or four coats. I cannot exactly remember, but once I get this one to the shade that I want, of course, I'll tell you how many coats I used. And the coats dry fairly quickly. Give it a good 10 minutes between each coat. And then on your final coat, before we start decorating, you need to let it dry for a good 45 minutes to an hour just to make sure you don't smudge your paint and have to wipe it off and start all over. So I'm going to go paint this, let it dry, and then I'll come back and show you what else to do with it. Okay, let's move on to our next step. This is four layers, very thin layers. You don't want to spray this on too thickly. Four thin layers of the sea glass paint. And now what we're going to do is take our, our painter's tape here, and we're going to tape off the part that we do not want to get glitter on. And I'm going to take my, my older one here, and I'm going to lay it down beside of it just to try to get an idea of where I want to start putting this tape. And the good thing about painter's tape is that it seals really, really well on the edges so that um, paint cannot get up and underneath it, but it doesn't stick so hard that it's going to rip your paint off. It comes off fairly easily. And I know this is not going to be perfect, so I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm going to guess right about there. They don't have to be twins. They're just in the same family, but they're not twins. So let me just put this on there. Okay, now let me get some more and put around the top. Why did I tear off so much? I don't know. And I'm going to guess, I don't know, this is probably not even right. But it's okay. And just put that right around. Ah! It's crooked. It's crooked! Okay, we got it now. Okay, that looks alright, I guess. What y'all think? Does that look right? Oh god, it's probably a little bit crooked. But it's okay, it's just going to my bathroom, so it doesn't really matter. If it's just slightly crooked, let's get that out of the way. Okay, now what we're going to do is take your Mod Podge, and we're going to paint this part here, because this is where the glitter is going to go. So let me go ahead and get my glitter open. Watch me knock it over and make a mess. So I'm just going to dip my little sponge doohickey in here, and just paint it on. Paint it on. Kind of work fairly quickly so it doesn't start to set up before I get the glitter on. 
So I like to pour the glitter on all at one time. See, I really like this paint. See how it really it really does give like a really nice sea glass effect. Did I put too much on there? I bet I did. Okay, let's just try to smooth that out a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect because the glitter is going to cover it. Now we're going to make it rain, make it rain with the glitter. Okay, let's pour that on, pour that on. I think this is the same kind of glitter I used on the other one. I try to make them match somewhat. Okay, as you can see, I've got a piece of paper down here to kind of catch all this extra glitter falling everywhere. Okay. So, now you need to set this to the side and let that Mod Podge set up. I don't know. Give, give this a good hour. Because I think on this one I did two layers of glitter. So, that's what I'm going to do on this one. I'm going to let this dry for about an hour. And then I'm going to come back and I'll do another layer of Mod Podge and glitter. Let that dry for an hour. And then I'll come back and we'll decorate it. So, I'll see y'all here just in a bit. Okay, so I'm going to start on the hot gluing part. Now, what I've done here is, of course, this has already dried and set up, and I put a layer of Mod Podge, glitter, Mod Podge, glitter, and then a layer of Mod Podge on top of that just to seal all the glitter in. As you can see, the glitter does not come off. So, what I've done is I just took a bit of this twine. After I peeled off the painter's tape, just peel it off carefully, by the way, because you don't want to rip, you know, like your Mod Podge if it's not 100% dry all the way. That's why I said to give it a nice long time to dry. So just carefully take off that painter's tape. And then I put like a little blob of hot glue right there on the edge and then just wrap the twine around it and took the other end and stuck it down into the hot glue. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to look through this little basket here and I'm going to pick out what shell I want to use. Oh, that one's cracked. I'm going to pick out what shell I want to use. Let's see. What y'all think? How about this one? This one look good? Yeah, we'll use that one. Okay, now it's really hard. You see like how it scoops in? It's going to be really hard to glue that to something flat like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it down on this, um, this old towel that I have here. And you just want to kind of start trying to fill it in a bit with hot glue. Just lay that on the towel. You know, the towel is, is going to help it to stop from tilting back and forth and pouring your glue everywhere. Because basically all that we're trying to do now is just get a nice flat backing so that we have something to, to actually glue onto the vase. And this little trick here works with anything. It doesn't have to just be seashells. I mean, if you want to attach something to a flat surface and it's curved on the back, just fill it up with hot glue just to make the back flat. So now I'm going to take the rest of this, well not the rest of the twine because that's a whole lot of twine, but I'm just going to put a blob of glue right here. Like I said, this is the back. So try to be as neat as possible, but you know, if you have a little bit of glue showing, it's going to be okay. You can go back later if you want to, you know, and just clean it up a bit with a razor blade, very carefully cleaning it up with a razor blade. And let's see, on my other one, two, three, four, five, six, I think I got it wrapped around there like six times. The other twine that I used on my other one was a bit thicker than this brand here. So I know they're not going to be identical, but that's okay. I'll just put them in different areas of my bathroom so that it doesn't look as obvious. And believe me, if somebody comes into your bathroom and gets that close to your decorations and has something to say about it, maybe they don't need to be in your house. <laughs> So let's wrap this around one more time. What y'all think? Yeah, one more time. Maybe two more times. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to get my other one here. Whoopsie, I'm not going to glitter down. I'm going to get my other one here. Take a peek. Yeah, let's do one more time. Just one more. Wrap it around again. There we go. All right. Let's make sure that's stuck down there. We can work on this here in a second to make sure it's all even. So it's hard to get it even while you're actually wrapping it. But it's okay. You can just go back and fix it. There we go. That looks pretty good, right? I think that's one of the um, 
one of the charming things, I guess it's charming, if you want to call it that, things about homemade stuff is it's not going to be perfect. Okay, now you see how this glue is stuck up here? Later on, I will go back with a razor blade and just like pick at it like that and just take that off. So let's see, this seashell, it's still a little bit tacky, but I'm going to go ahead and glue it on. Still just a little bit tacky. So I'm just going to put a blob here of more hot glue. Whee! That's a lot of glue. Let's see. Now I'm just going to stick it straight down like that. I'm not really going to press it down very hard because I don't want glue oozing everywhere. But there we go. I think that looks pretty good. What y'all think? And that's really all that there is to it. Pretty simple, but you know, just a just a nice way to spruce up some plain vases. And you can do this with glasses, you know, any type of vase, any type of container. You know, you can use um, empty bottles. I have an empty, um, what was like an iced coffee bottle, I think from Starbucks, that I repurposed in the very same way. I just painted it and put the glitter on and wrapped some twine around it, and it looks like something that you get from Pier 1, you know? And I made it out of trash. <laughs> but I hope you liked this one. I've got more beach stuff coming if you'll look in the... And thank you to my cat for jumping up here and making a mess and knocking my phone down off the little tripod thingy and all that. Ah, gotta love our pets, right? <laughs> but anyway, if you'll look down in the description box, like I was saying, I don't know where this video cut off or if you heard it, but... If you look down in the description box, I'll have another link to another beach-themed Dollar Tree item that I did. And I'll just try to keep all the beach stuff all linked in together. So, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of those are in the description box down below. And I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.